Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, I'm down the arc this morning. You can see the arc behind me here. We're at the bow end, actually. And uh, just as people start to get on here, uh, just have a look around at uh, some of the beautiful landscaping that we've been able to put in uh, here at the arc. And I'm also going to get on my phone here, my, my smartphone, and what I'm going to do is log on here so that I can see any comments that you might want to put on here if there's any questions you want to ask while I'm down here this morning. I want to tell you about something exciting that's happening. We're actually going to be expanding the Ark Encounter, uh, our next big project. I want to tell you about that. We've finished the West Village and almost finished the East Village over there. They just got some birds to go in the aviaries that we have over there into those cages. And we finished the uh, pizza uh, hut here that we have, the little pizza shop, and also the smokehouse shop. And very, very popular, the smokehouse. I love the brisket from there, the smoked brisket. We smoke our own brisket and uh, smoke salmon and uh, so uh, really, really great food down here. And then, of course, we're just near M. Zara's restaurant, which is our big 1,500-seat restaurant, and we have a wonderful buffet in there that people just rave over. I uh, see a lot of buses coming today. Actually, this month is going to be uh, the busiest uh, uh, month for buses for the whole year. And uh, I'm just going to turn down the volume here on my phone. And I see, oh, a number of you sending those emojis. I love to see emojis, all those heart emojis and thumbs up emojis. That's really great. And uh, I'll try to look at uh, some of your uh, comments here. Uh, so there's people coming from all over. Hey, let us know where you're from. I see people from Ohio and Washington, D.C. and uh, all of that. So uh, someone said they're coming soon. Okay, we're going to just walk around here. And I've got a special treat for you today. We're going to meet the baby kangaroo. We're going to meet the miniature cow, some of our zoo stuff. But we're going to show you the next big project here at the Ark. We're expanding the Ark. Uh, we, we have so many people coming. We need to get these expansions done so that uh, we can have much more for people to do. And uh, next year, we believe, will be busier than this year. Uh, I know at the Creation Museum today, they're expecting about 25 buses. And uh, on this day next week, they're expecting many more than that. I think it's 35 or 40. No, what did they tell me? 50, I think, on one day uh, at the Creation Museum. This month really is the biggest month for bus tours. These buses come from all across uh, America. Uh, is there going to be a restaurant on the top of the arc, someone's asking. Actually, there will be eventually. Uh, right now, uh, the, the top of the arc, it's what we call the roof deck. And you'll be able to actually go in there. It'll be a reservation-only restaurant. You'll be able to walk outside and walk along the side of the arc. But we haven't funded that yet, and we're trying to do a lot of these other things uh, first. And uh, we just have to see how that goes. People from Pennsylvania, from Texas, from Oklahoma, from Missouri, from Mayfield, Kentucky. Well, look who we have over here. We have some of our uh, zoo over here. And this is Matt, and Matt's in charge of all of our zoo and our petting area. Uh, so, Matt, uh, great to have you here. Hey, Matt, maybe it's you could tell people, where, where were you before you came to the Ark? I spent 24 years at the Columbus Zoo and Aquarium. Oh, okay. And Columbus Zoo is a, a very well-respected zoo, too. Yeah, it so, is. So you work there. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Well, let's uh, meet some of our, our zoo staff here. And this is... I'm Charity. Charity. I'm Catherine. Catherine. And I'm Emily. Emily. You, how many staff do we have that work at the zoo? We have seven full-time staff, and then we have 24 zoo associates. Oh, 24 zoo associates, and uh, these people really know how to look after the animals. So why don't you tell us a little bit about this one over here, first of all. And then what I want to show people, see these signs here? You can see the signs at the back. There's this fence that goes all the way down. We're going to go inside, and we're going to give people a first... A little overview. That's I'm right. going to have you do that, Matt. We're going to walk through. Okay. It looks pretty bare in there right now, but yeah. we are about to start a massive zoo expansion ready for next year. Yeah, and exactly. uh, I'll get you to walk us through the area. Okay. And we'll go down. I'll show people our latest exhibit down there that just opened. Oh, yeah, that's, that's one of our favorites. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, that, I'll tell you what that is when we get down there, but uh, <laughs> I tell you, it is one of our latest exhibits. You know, <clears throat> You know what's not fair? We are standing here opposite the smokehouse. See the smokehouse over there? See that big smoker? They smoke the uh, brisket and they smoke the salmon right here. 
and they smoke pork right here. And you know what's not right about that? What's that? I can smell it right there, <laughs> and, I'm, and I'm getting hungry. I'm, I tell I think you, that's part of the plan. I tell you, the, the brisket taco is incredible. They Very get this good. crispy taco, and they put a soft taco on the outside, and they yeah. put lettuce and tomato, tomato, how do tomato. you say oh, Whatever yeah. it is. And then they put that brisket and two types of sauce. Uh, I tell you, it's sort of soft and crunchy, and it, yeah, it's, that's my favorite. I've had that too. It's one of my yeah, favorites. Yeah, it is my favorite. Okay, introduce us to one of these animals here. All right, this is Char Sorry. Trinity. <laughs> this is Trinity. Charity's behind me. This is Trinity. She is our nine-month-old red kangaroo Joey. Hey, do you know we got someone watching from Costa Rica right now? Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, I'm just looking at that on my phone here. Oh, very good. That's the amazing thing about Facebook is it goes global. So, you know, I'm an Australian citizen as well as an American citizen. I'm a dual citizen. Mm -hmm. So we have another dual citizen here. We do. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And his or her mom and dad are in our exhibit down here at the Ararat Ridge Zoo. Was she born here? Or she he was. Born? It's a she? Yep. She was born here. And she was born here? And she's actually the third kangaroo joey that we had born at the zoo so that's where the name trinity came from oh okay. every animal in the air at ridge zoo gets a bible name so okay. that was perfect for her okay but she's uh she's our first hand raise and she's uh become one of our program animals she's a great ambassador to go out and show people how cool australians can really be absolutely <laughs> absolutely <laughs> and, and then uh, down here this that uh catherine's holding this is moses uh, his real name is Moses, by the way. We call him Moses affectionately. Okay. And uh, as soon as you mentioned the smokehouse, he started running in circles. So he got a little nervous. There, see, we said it again. <laughs> <laughs> you, talk, you talk smokehouse and he's ready to go home. That's a tiny cow. Yes. He is actually a mini steer. A mini so steer. A miniature steer. So do they grow any bigger than that? Yeah. His father, he's right now, he's probably around 300 to 350 pounds. And his father was 450. So okay. he won't get a whole lot larger. Huh. The coolest thing about Moses is he is adventured into our petting area. Okay. So our guests can actually get the opportunity to meet Moses in the petting area, which is a really rare experience. And they can also meet him on the second deck of the ship in our animal pen. Oh, yeah. We'll talk to people about that in a moment. By the way, someone watching from the Philippines, would you believe, and uh, Los Angeles, uh, people watching from uh, all over here. If anyone has a question for uh, Matt about animals, you know everything about animals, right? And, oh, if, and if you don't know it, you'll ask one of these to, <laughs> right. to answer the question. The zoo associates really keep things running okay. for us. So. Now, we want to show you some of the animals here because we're going to be expanding the zoo. And one of the purposes of the zoo is not only to show uh, these animals that, you know, God created all the animals and to show the wonderful design features that they have, but also to teach people about kinds. Right. And we do that on the ark. Uh, as well in the exhibits there on the second deck there's some exhibits about kinds the fact that Noah didn't have to take all the different species of animals uh, on board but he took the kinds and so for the kangaroo kind I know in Australia you know you can see also there's different types of wallabies and the, the big, big the big red kangaroo and yep. you've got uh, uh, paddy melons if you've heard of them and uh, I have not, you have not they're, they're, <laughs> like a little, they're like a little wallaby <laughs> and you've got the Bennett's wallaby which we have at the Creation Museum Zoo yep, that's right. uh, but only two of the kangaroo kind were actually needed on the ark because you have different species of kangaroos but uh, within the kind and so we're going to do a big expansion of the zoo here you see this fence that goes all the way down right from the back of the ark all the way down to the zoo uh, we're going to be expanding that so I'm going to Matt get you to take me inside right. and we'll let these uh, young ladies here go back to the zoo and uh, put those animals back to where they're supposed to be and we will go down there and we'll end up down there at the zoo okay. and I'm going to show people are you excited by our brand new exhibit we just opened? Uh, it, all of us, actually. I can't tell yeah, you how excited we are. Yeah, yeah. I bet. It's I'm been sure a long time coming. It's been a long time coming, here. and I'm sure all the staff have really looked forward to this yeah. new and exhibit. And the guests are going to love it, too. And I guess they're going to love it, too. Yeah. You, you'll want to know what it is. We're going to end up there in a moment. The okay. new exhibit that the zoo staff, it, it's probably the highlight of their week that is now this new exhibit's opened, right? Yeah, it's going yeah. to be. By the time you get to the zoo, it'll be your highlight. Yeah, okay, all right. <laughs> We're going to see what that is. Okay, thank you, ladies. Thanks, well, uh, we might see you back down there at the zoo. Let's go in behind here. Just to show you while we're standing here, uh, the ark itself, and I started off out the front of the ark. The ark is the biggest timber frame structure in the world, but it's anchored to these three towers. And these three towers, if you put them together, they would make up something like uh, 
uh, say a 200 room hotel inside. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, they're seven stories high and they contain the exit stairs and the restrooms and the elevators. We're putting in an extra elevator for next year. Yeah, uh, we're we, looking forward to that too. Because we, we've got one big elevator and a, another passenger elevator and putting in a, a third passenger elevator because we so need uh, the extra elevators. But uh, we're going to go inside here. Uh, so let's go in behind here because we want to show you and Matt, I want you to be able to tell everyone uh, sort of as we walk down through here, okay. what's going to be where. And we're starting on this, I believe we're starting very soon actually, and uh, they've already been designing it and planning it. So this area here where the public aren't allowed, so we have a special sneak preview in behind here. And yes, it's messy uh, because <laughs> they're clearing everything out of here. So from here all the way down, uh, so let's just sort of slowly walk down here and, okay. and you can tell us what's going where. Yeah, the really, the really cool thing is going to be the entrance, which will be across the pathway we were standing in front of, uh -huh. and then kind of coming back where these fences are right here. So this will be the new zoo entrance. The new right zoo here. entrance, okay. And as you come in, one of the first things you're going to see is our Ayudad exhibit, or our mountain goats, which will be in this area over here. Okay, so you're sort of building a little mountain for them? Yeah, so they'll have a little, little rock cropping or a small mountain they can climb up on, so they can probably actually see you better than you can see them. Okay, okay. So mountain goats will be over here. And then on the left-hand side, this will be where our new kangaroo home will be. And this oh, will be you, our... Are you going to put the kangaroos in here? Yeah. So you're moving them from where they are down there? Yeah, so they'll get a much larger exhibit. Now, will people be able to walk in there with them? Yes. Yeah, so we're going to do a walkabout. Just, just like we do in Australia. Right. In the nature, though. You can walk through with them in well, nature. Well, that's true, that's true. So but some, like of my, some of my favorite Australia. parks in Australia, you can actually walk in and uh, be with the kangaroos. Yeah. So we're going to do that here. Do they have emus as well? Emus, yeah. Oh, yeah, you can do that with emus too. Yeah, Maybe so we're going to have emus in this exhibit also. Okay, emus and kangaroos. So it's going right. to be a little mixed, or actually a big mixed okay. exhibit. Then as we go down here. And this will just be a, a really decorative uh, guest path walking down through here. Okay. And... We're going to work on more shade and seating areas as well in this piece. And so right about here will be the entrance to the walkabout. And you'll kind of walk in this direction, kind of meander through past the emu and down to the kangaroo. We say emus. Emu? Use, yeah, use. It's like, yeah. like you say HR, we say HR. <laughs> you know, you, you got to get the pronunciation right here. Yeah, it's one of those okay. Australian things. Yeah, yeah. So. And then over here, on the far right is where our ostrich are going to come up to. So, oh, so we're going to put the ostriches in here? Yeah. Okay. Yep. So that way, too, we'll have the ostrich right across from the emu. Okay. And they're both ratite kinds. Okay. They're in the ratite kind, but they're okay. separate species. So. They're separate species. So just two of that kind went on the ark. So yeah. this, this is all part of the kinds teaching, exactly. right? Exactly. So and that's, there's actually the uh, five different kinds of ratites. And so with with demonstrating that, you can show, even though there's all these different species, he would only have to have one of those right. species okay. on the ship. So when you said five different kinds of ratites, you mean five different species, species of ratites. Yeah. We've got to get a terminology right that. here. Yeah, yeah you, do have, you. you do have to watch it. It does sneak up on you. Hey, <laughs> we can look back here, and you can actually see. Now, I know it's a little messy here because we're clearing everything out, getting ready for this big zoo expansion here. But again, you get a bit of an idea. From the front, you see the entire arc. You would never know it was anchored to these three towers, but it's anchored to those towers for a number of reasons. A, you know, for uh, stability, and uh, B, because we wanted to keep the restrooms and the elevators and all the big e exit stairs outside of the arc to allow us to have all those exhibits in the arc and people get the sense of the whole ship. So at the back here now, they'll be able to walk behind next year and they'll walk through this. This is going to totally transform very soon. Yeah. Uh, as we transform it into the new zoo. Hey, we're getting closer to that new exhibit. We are. We are we yeah, are. we're getting yeah. a whole yeah. lot closer. Oh, yeah. You're going to get excited by this new exhibit. You wait till you see it. Okay. So what else are we going to have down here? You, so, you've got a lot of other animals we're getting, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, we're going to have probably 50 different animals and 14 different kinds. It's going to effectively double the size of the current zoo. Oh, okay. It's and so nice. what, what new animals are we getting? We're going to get the uh, collared peccaries. This is a really cool one. And that's a wild pig from central and southwestern U.S. and pig. Central America. But don't you eat pigs? Not these ones. Oh, okay. We're not putting you on our smoker? <laughs> no. Yes, Booza says the same thing, too. Yeah. yeah. 
<laughs> so uh, what else? Uh, so I, actually, I, I heard you're getting a sloth. Yes. Is that true? Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. You can't have a Z without a sloth. Anymore. Okay. And uh, we might even call him Matthew. <laughs> Why Matthew? Because that's my name. Oh, okay. <laughs> Matt. And sloths Matt. are one of my favorites. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Matthew or Matt? Matthew. Matthew. Yeah, okay. It's more biblical, got, okay. Well, okay. Very good. So we got, then we're also going to have uh, what every Cincinnatian should love. We're going to have bear cats. You know, uh, or binturongs as they're other. Okay, way somebody here says um, ostriches are amusing. E m u s i n g. <laughs> hey, we've got clever, you know, people, clever listeners. We do, we do. We do. Pe people have a sense of humor. I like that. Oh, someone well, God said, has a sense of humor. Someone's too. defining colored peccary as pulled pork. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so somebody's asking when? When we're starting on the zoo expansion very soon. You've already. Basically, uh, know where the animals are coming from, right? Right. Um, we, what What are the new animals we're getting, as well as the so sloth? the new ones that we're getting is the bear cats, the collared peccaries, the ring tail lemurs is going to be a real. We're going to have some one. lemurs. Ring tail lemurs, yeah, that's oh, that super right? exciting. Yeah. Okay, they're not Australian, but I think you'll like them. Though. Okay, all right. And then they're from another island called Madagascar. Madagascar, right. yeah. You yeah, might yeah have but, seen the movie. Yeah, but Australia is a much bigger island than Madagascar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have seen the movie. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. And, and I've then, seen the lemurs in the movie. And Are then, they... I will tell you, we already have him here. His name's Gideon, but he's an African crested porcupine, and he will show up probably in this expansion as well. Oh, okay. So the expansion goes all the way down here. So this fence is going here as well. Yeah. Right? We're taking out that fence, and it keeps expanding the zoo down there. So let's walk right. behind that. So it'll kind of open it up a we lot. We had remnants of Irma here, so we've uh, got a little bit of mud, uh, and uh, we have to walk through some of the muddy area here so uh, the ostrich this is, this is all going to the change. ostrich will be on your left side here okay and then over here to the right we're going to walk pretty much right into the collared peccary exhibit so let's give you people an idea um, we'll get our videographer to come back here and then sweep around this whole area and you see how big an expansion this is going to be of our zoo area so you can see right back there to the back of the arc and then uh, right over the, to uh, where that fence is we'll have a new entrance over there and then this fence at the back here is going. And uh, so you said the ostriches will be just over here. Yep. And then what's going over behind here? So as we I trek tra through the Irma mud. As we trap through the, yeah, Irma mud. That's what it is. Irma mud. Oh, here we go. Okay. So. You know, we could probably just make that a quicksand exhibit right there. <laughs> yeah. For kids yeah. to play in. Yep. Yeah. So, all right. Uh, so we just... Waiting on our camera to catch up here with us. So we're basically um, standing in the collared peccary exhibit right there now. There are people saying, this sounds awesome, can't wait to come. Um, I can't wait. And uh, so, yes, there's, there's lots, of, uh, lots of comments here, which is really good. Okay, so what's going to go in here? All right, so directly in front of us will be the ringtail lemur exhibit. Oh, kind of okay, ringtail lemur there. On the top of where this yeah. fence is and in this space here. Yeah. And then this barn back here is going to turn into the bear cat sloth exhibit. Okay, and what happens to the donkeys that are there? The donkeys are moving back into the current zoo. Oh, okay. <laughs> so they'll move back into the, the yard probably vacated by the emu. And we want people to understand, too, that I just saw them taking some animals up to the second deck. Yeah. On the second deck of the ark is a special section where we have uh, some of the animals during the day, the live animals, and they do some special teaching programs up there. We do. And people just love that right there on the second deck. It's in the bow of the second deck. So people are asking, uh, when is this going to be open? When are we going to have the new, the new zoo expansion open? We're starting it's on be it next year. So it's next year, ready yep. for the spring and summer crowd. Correct. Is what yep. we would trust. So uh, I know you basically a lot of the design work's already done. Yeah. And we've been raising the funds for this, and we're ready to to get going and start. Yeah, we just had another meeting yesterday, and uh, to kind of wrap up some of the some of the barns and the buildings. And one of the buildings that I think you'll like the most will be straight where the sluice is currently. Yeah, we're moving that sluice, yeah. We're move the sluice across the wall. So what's going to be over there? And that's going to be our animal show stage. Oh, we're going to have an animal show stage. So we'll have the area on the second deck, but then we'll be able to come down here. And do some teaching programs there. Yep, so we'll have a location right here at the zoo where we can do it as well. Okay. Now, while we're, while we're here, let's just uh, just show people. Are I you want you to know. Now? I want you to know. Okay, we're going to show you the new exhibit that just opened yep. that the zoo staff in particular because we're a fair way from the back of the ark we are 
and uh, from Amzara's Kitchen, mm -hmm. and the zoo staff are so appreciative of. Yeah. Our new restrooms. Look at that. There we are. <laughs> you I know, can, you, I can kiss you for this, by the way. <laughs> it, it used to be, it used to be that when people pulled up at, uh, uh, or when I met people, uh, the most before the museum was open, uh, when I met people at conferences, the most asked question was, you know, where did Kane get his wife? Yep. And I tell people the most asked question now I get is, where are the restrooms? Where's when the they pull up at the yep. museum or they pull up the ark, where are the restrooms? And of course, we have restrooms out the, the drop off when they're first dropped off and restrooms all through the ark and in those uh, towers that we have there uh, have really big restrooms there and we have restrooms in Mzara's kitchen and yeah. now down at the zoo look at this yeah we finally got That's our an own important part of it's an important part of human life it is uh, yep. to make sure that we have uh, restrooms and it will improve the guest experience down here quite a bit it, it's it's going to yeah. yes uh, and which is really good so can we walk around through there yeah. and we'll show people we'll have to go this way uh, oh, do we? Okay. So we'll walk over here. So there we are. The new restrooms are open, and uh, people will uh, appreciate that. It just takes a long time to get everything done, but once we do this zoo expansion here at the back of the ark, it's going to really change this whole area because then basically most of phase one is sort of completed once we get the zoo expansion done. Yeah. And I know yeah, eventually be... we want to put in a big, uh, a big aviary down here walk through Avery yeah and we're pretty excited about that too yeah that's going to be on the other side of that uh, little valley there put a suspension bridge or something over there for uh, a uh, walk through Avery and, and uh, what is one other thing every zoo needs giraffes have animals giraffes oh, giraffes yeah are we going are we going to do giraffes one yeah, day giraffes are on the long-term plan but yeah, okay they're, they're going to be here okay and animal hospital as well so that's one of the big things oh, we're looking forward okay. to okay so Hey, what do we have in here? What are those things in there? I haven't seen those before. Are you a happy person? <laughs> Am I a happy person? Yeah. Uh, yeah. If you aren't, after you get on one of our happy rides, you will be. Oh, really? These are called happy rides. Can we zip in there real quick? We have a look. Okay. So this is for this is for kids, right? Well, it can they can actually hold up to 250 pounds. So. Oh, really? Yeah, we actually had adults and teenagers on them as also. Oh, well, look at these. So what they they rent these and ride around the petting zoo with them? Yep, they sure look do. Look at that. <laughs> so th this and is got, just this is got, just new, isn't it? It is. We've only had this about two weeks. Okay. And we've got many different kinds in here as well, Ken. If you notice. Okay. Yeah, different kinds of right. animals. Exactly. Okay, different species, but different kinds, and uh, so this. This area here is going to be expanded for the future too, right? Yeah, and in here, this so it could end up being the Moses's home, as well as uh, some our, our an armadillo, or maybe our Cooney Cooney pigs. So this will be more of a, okay. a guest interaction space in here. Hey, somebody said here to be clear, a, a bear cat is not a cross between a bear kind and a cat kind. <laughs> they are very correct. See, we got smart people. Watching. We have smart people. Yeah, they said it's also called a bincherong. It is native to South Asia happens to be the mascot of the University of Cincinnati. Did right you know on. that? I did. Yeah. Yeah. See, I'm, uh, I'm playing in So we're, at, we're actually getting bear cats? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. How many of those will we have? Starting off with one. Okay. Yeah, and they're, and they're actually pretty big. They're about four times the size of a, of a raccoon. Oh, okay. So they're pretty, pretty good size. So maybe we could just uh, go back out here for a moment. And uh, what are we going to... Uh, Where's the hospital going to be, the animal hospital when you have the that? The animal hospital, right now, we're kind of holding off a space for it at the back of the zoo expansion. Okay. So, uh, but, you know, as plans go forward, you're never sure where things will land. But. And we do have an animal keeper's barn over here, which we have uh, yep. different animals in there. That's where the camels and all our, our equines are kept. Okay. And then the, uh, the camel rides and donkey rides are very popular too, aren't they? The camel and donkey rides are huge, camels especially. Camels, if you get to know them, they're one of God's, I think, specially created kinds. I think God had a blast making these guys because they're almost the perfect animal. They can handle anything. They love everything. They're happy about almost anything they do. Well, oh, I see the kangaroos are out. Yeah, so that's now, Kennedy's family. what is the time? Okay, so uh, I see a lot of bus tours have arrived and people uh, out the front of the ark and then they're going through the ark and then they'll start coming down here, yeah. and uh, this gets uh, really busy, doesn't it, uh, as we go on. Oh, look, they're just starting to bring the camels out, ready for the camel rides. Yeah, here they come. Here they come, yep, look at that. So the cool thing we do here, Ken, is we have four camels, 
and we rotate them in, in two camel teams, so they get every other day off. Oh, okay. That's one of the things a lot of our guests worry about, but yeah. um, just to assure them that, and same thing with the donkeys, they actually get every other day off as well. I know, there are days I come down here and see, see lines of people lined up for the camel rides and for the donkey rides. Uh, and you'd be surprised how many senior citizens we get that want to ride a camel. Is that right? I love them. I tried it at the museum. I got in there once, and I have a bad back, <laughs> and I had to get someone to help me off, and it took me like a month to recover. Well, <laughs> so I decided we, I've had my camel ride. At least we helped you. We didn't leave you there. That's true. So let's have a look at these kangaroos, and uh, then we might um, just finish up down here. Oh, what do we have over the back there? Right in the back is uh, Shem. Shem. Shem is one of our llamas. llamas. We also have a ham in there, believe it or not. Oh, do you? Yeah. And you have, you have alpacas too, right? Yes, yeah, the alpacas and llamas are both in that yard. And I see some interesting, are they donkeys down there? Yeah, the brown one, that's Leah, and she's one of our uh, standard donkeys. Okay. The, the spotted donkeys, some people call them painteds, um, but that, that looks more like a Palomino horse. And then they're actually in with Zacchaeus, our zebra, as well. He's, you can kind of see him through the oh, fencing, yeah. but he's I down there. We're going to go all the way down there because, you know, we've been uh, keeping people long enough here. But I thought it would be great for them to see uh, that the zoo is expanding. So this whole area, you walk all the way down there to where the uh, yaks are. Yeah, and then yeah they, come back they top here. it off. It's really come on, hasn't it? Really matured since they put all the landscaping in. And they're getting ready for the camel rides, as you said. Uh, here and then uh, you see here's some of the families now starting to come down to the zoo so it starts to really increase from now on yeah. as people come down here you know this is it's it's september and so people are back at school back at college and yet this is going to be a really busy month for us yeah we have, we've seen busy. that the weather or the school season really doesn't slow us down a whole lot last year october was our busiest season of the year so our biggest there's... month of the year um, yeah, somebody said here, it looks like the grounds crew are doing an excellent, beautiful job. I'll uh, just ask these people. So, hey, where are you guys from? Ohio. Ohio. Oh, great. Great. Looks like all these children are excited. <laughs> well, that is great. It's great to see uh, all these kids that are coming to the Ark and Creation Museum. Well, Matt, uh, thanks for joining with us today. And uh, people want to find out more about the Ark Encounter, it's arkencounter.com, arkencounter.com. Uh, find out what's going on there. We have all sorts of things happening here every day. And uh, we're just gearing up now for a busy day. The rain looks like it's gone through. Yeah. So it looks like it's going to be, I think those clouds are moving. It'll be a beautiful day here for people at the Ark. And won't be too it hot will be. and won't be too cold. Nope, and it's going to stay right. dry. So come visit. You know what, The next uh, next week I'm going to do a Facebook Live telling about our Christmas program. We have a startling, startling um, uh, bit of news for people. What we're going to do on the front of the ark, you, you know, you ever been to places like Disney where they do those 3D, they do those projections on the castle, for yeah. instance? We're going to have one of Mount those. Rushmore. We're going to have one of those on the ark. That's it's what incredible. we're going to do. Incredible. We're going to tell people all about that, and that'll be a special Christmas program. And we're going to allow people in November, December, January, February to be able to park. Uh, all they have to do is pay for parking. They'll be come over to the Ark grounds and can shop at our at our uh, fair trade store and use the restaurants and all that for November, December, January, February. And then we have a special Christmas program December into uh, January. So lots of exciting things to tell people more about that next week. And they can find out about it. Keep watch on our Ark Encounter website, arkencounter.com. Uh, and with that, we'll sign off here, uh, down here at the zoo and the petting area for right. Ark Encounter. All right. Thanks, Ken.